Joining us now with more is Yale Law Professor and ABC News legal analyst Asha Rangampa. As we just heard, Judge Kaplan limited former President Trump's testimony to the case at handover damages. He only took the stand for three minutes. What do you think he accomplished? Well, I think the judge accomplished a lot. I don't think Trump accomplished very much. Look, you know, there was not really much point in Trump testifying because this was just the damages phase of the trial. His liability had already been established. So short of apologizing and trying to maybe try to engender some sympathy from the jury and mitigate the harm, uh, which we know he's not going to do, it's not clear what he hoped to do, except maybe get some talking points in front of the jury and ideally out into the court of public opinion. And I think in this regard, the judge really reined him in beforehand and while he was talking, and it became clear that he was not going to be successful in that effort. Well, to that end, during the few questions that he was asked, President Trump's answers did go well past just a yes or a no. Was that a possible tactic? Well, it it was a tactic. I think he would have done more. The judge struck some of that uh, some of that testimony. But Victor, look, you know, we're now reporting on it in on the news. We're talking about it. So it's getting out to uh, the base that he wants to influence. In, at the end of the day, I think for him, the jury that really matters are the people who are going to vote for him. Because if he can get back into the Oval Office, then he's going to have many more levers that will help protect him from some of these other cases, especially the criminal cases uh, that are coming his way. So I think that's his top priority. There's so much attention on this. How can a judge keep the train on the tracks when it comes to a case like this? I think all of these judges are towing such a fine line. You know, if they were dealing with any def- any regular defendant, somebody who wasn't going to be covered on the news that night, you know, they would be able to uh, rein them in, maybe even pre- prevent them from testifying if they were continuing to be provocative or refusing to answer uh, or refusing to comply with the judge. Um, the judges in Trump's cases now, criminal and civil, can't do that because if they do that, they feed into his narrative that he's being treated unfairly, that he's being silenced, that he's being railroaded. And so they're trying to balance this legitimacy, uh, uh, the perception of legitimacy of the justice system with treating him uh, like another de- any other defendant. I think this judge has come as close as we've seen to being able to do that successfully. All right, Asha, thank you for joining us. Appreciate your insight here. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.